interesting because when you look at the life and the research of Isaac Newton and what we know in modern times now, that this was unknown for a very long time because it was censored. Uh, but his private writings have re-emerged now. And we know that he was very much in, involved in alchemy and study of various ancient civilization, very much as well ancient Hebraic uh, traditions. Uh, he learned ancient Hebrew to decode his own text. He built uh, replicas of the Temple of Solomon. He believed uh, literally that there were solutions in the geometry of the, of the Temple of Solomon that explained gravity and that if we could decode it, we would understand gravity at a deeper level. Interestingly, I, I had a similar path um, in that early on, since I was not confined by the institutional structure, I was studying independently. Um, I studied ancient civilization uh, because I was finding parallels between what I was finding in physics and what I was and what was present in ancient texts uh, from all around the world, from many different cultures. This idea uh, that you find in uh, these uh, ancient views uh, is that there is a way to influence matter and energy in such a way to make them work for you. And what happens in this new view of physics is that Yes, the, there is, like the idea of, of chi, the idea of mana, the idea of a, the, this field of energy that's in space that you can influence is absolutely present in these new physics. It, it actually flushes out the mathematics on how it does this stuff. And so it leads to very advanced technology, funny enough, based on very ancient uh, knowing that was present all along and that I believe Newton instinctively knew it was in there somewhere and worked most of his time on this and, and actually what he produced in his laws of motion and entropy and gravity and so on is actually like a side chapter for him. His main interest was to understand how to get a chemical formulas to, to influence matter and energy. And so I think that there's, there's a lot of validity there. And the exciting part is that if this theory is confirmed and, and is confirmed by experiments now, so it's very strong, give legitimacy to these concepts, for instance, everything is connected, everything is one, but in a very grounded way. And it leads to the application of this, these understanding, these ancient understanding to very advanced technology that could bring us to the stars, literally, that can allow us to, to birth our civilization into the universe, into our galaxy, into space travel, wormhole creation. The sky is no longer the limit. It, it's beyond the sky. And so it, it's very exciting.